Hello friends, welcome to Love to Code. My name is Nawaz and in this video I am going to share you a tip that will be helpful for you to crack programming and advanced programming round in Zoho interview. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if Zoho is your dream company and if you are preparing for Zoho interview, I would recommend you to watch my channel and there is a playlist for Zoho interview questions solved. Watch this video till the end so that you won't miss out any tips. Few tips will be simple but you might miss out one or two tips which you are not knowing. So for first second round that is programming round, the tips which I am going to share is you should be good at logical operators. You should be good at how and operator and or operator works. You should be good at if condition, if else condition, instead if conditions, how for loop works how to write a uh, break statement inside of for loop, how to use continuous statement, etc. And also you should be good at 2D arrays. You should be good at diagonals in 2D arrays. For example, cross string problem, which I have already solved in my video. So using a 2D array, you can easily solve a cross string problem. So that means that you should be good at logical operators and understanding of good loops is very much necessary and you should also know few basic built-in methods in Java if you are using string class. For example, mostly they will tell you not to use um, uh, other built-in functions except you will be allowed to use a two char array and a caret function. Okay, other than this, uh, you can use a length method. Other than this methods, you cannot use uh, any other method. So you should know the working of these methods and you should have pro solved problems on arrays and strings. And mostly I would recommend you to have a basic knowledge and ASCII values of characters, numbers, etc. which will be very much helpful you to solve problems based on strings. For example, converting a given string into uppercase, converting a given string into lowercase, etc. So, you should know basic uh, ASCII values for character, small character A, capital character A, small character Z, capital character Z, and for numbers from 0 to 9. If you are not knowing this, I will tell you that. Please open the editor. Try to print system.out.println. There you have to mention a character A. Then you will get ASCII value of character A. In interview, if you are not aware of ASCII values, you can simply print out the particular character and you will get an ASCII value of that. For example, I want to know the ASCII value of a small character A. So if I do a system.out.println A and run this, I will get a ASCII value of small a. In like that only I can also get ASCII value of small z. So let me type z and run this. So ASCII value of small z is 122. ASCII value of capital small a is 97. So the numbers between this range will be like the ASCII values of small a, b, c, d till z. So in same way we can also get the ASCII value of ca capital characters. So let me run this code and you will get a ASCII value of a capital characters from A to Z. And also we can get ASCII values of 0 and till 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or till 9. So this will be the ASCII characters. So knowing ASCII values will be very much helpful to solve problems on strings. So and you also you should have basic knowledge on data structures and algorithms. These two things will be very much helpful for you in advanced programming round as well as in programming round. Sometimes in Zoho interview, the fourth round or the, sorry, the third round or the advanced programming round will not be on application. It will be like they will give you continuous algorithmic based problems. So you should be good at arrays, queues, stack, linked list, hash map, trees, etc. So you should know basic working of queue, stack, linked list, hash map, trees 
and you should also know how to to, to iterate hash map how to iterate linked list how to iterate trees how to use stack and you should also know some basic searching algorithms and sorting algorithms you should also know few algorithms which i uh, gave an answer was a cadence algorithm i have a video for that in my channel as well so these things are very much required for you to crack a second round coming to third round that is advanced programming round so what happens in advanced programming round is they will give you a problem statement or a design problem you have to design a complete application on console there is no need for you to develop an html code everything you should do is on a console so they will tell you that they will be giving 3 hours for this and they will give you a set a question problem statement that may contain more than 3 to 4 pages it and they will tell you to take 30 minutes to read and understand the problem statement and you should come out with the design in this 30 minute so if you come out of the design and if you explain the design how you are going to solve this problem so interviewer will, will let you to proceed so there will be module wise uh, statements module wise problems so you have to solve module wise for example in railway reservation so you have to collect the information of a passenger so after that you have to book a ticket after that you have to see whether uh, uh, reservation is completed or not uh, and uh, like after that you have to cancel the ticket after that you have to print the ticket so step by step there will be modules you have to uh, solve this based on modules so what happens is actually they give 3 hours but it can go around 5 to 6 hours actually in my interview it took almost 7 hours uh, no sorry almost it took 6 hours so i what i did was when they gave me a paper so i thought i will not solve this problem because it was a new one and it was almost 8 pages to read itself i took 30 minutes then i got an idea slowly i got an idea i was knowing linked list then i got an idea how to solve using linked list in that almost there were 11 modules i almost completed 9 modules so i got selected in zohan so you should be good at oop concepts object oriented programming you should know basic of object oriented programming you should write clean and neat code so you should not write everything inside a main method you should ma maintain few methods to just print the data you should maintain few methods to just collect the data you should main maintain few steps to store uh, data methods so you have to write a clean modular code so you should no basic data structures such as linked list hash map stack tree etc which is very much necessary for you to clear this round uh, and also you should know how to use a proper data structure for what kind of a thing and you should be fast at coding and you should can use built in functions in this round as well so the main critical task in this round will be understanding the problem statement if you are not understanding the problem statement don't start coding you have to explain complete design to a interviewer i would recommend you to completely go through the question paper and analyze and design how you can will be solving this problem start coding when you start coding almost you would have analyzed everything when you start coding you should be very much fast don't delay so whoever is best among yourself they will pick only that person don't think only we are three we will three might get placed in zoho no unless and until you are better among those two people you will not be selected so i will be making videos on application round in upcoming i will upload few videos on application round i have one question which is a traffic controller which was asked in zoho interview when i wrote interview i have took snapshot of those so i am preparing on that i will be uploading in upcoming days i forgot to mention you that you should be good at threads that is working of thread how to implement threads so it will be very much helpful in advanced programming round thanks for watching this video please like subscribe and share